some really cool stuff. Um, where does that look? Hold on here, I gotta figure out where I left it. I put it back, did I? Again, I know I have nobody here watching it, so this is for the YouTubers, I guess. This book is unbelievable. This is the shit you should be listening to. I know it's like some of the some of the layouts and stuff and the way that uh, comics are drawn. That's a little different now, um, but there's still so much good stuff in here, and there's stuff in this that I'll be honest. When I was a kid. And I wanted to break into comics, I ignored, and I shouldn't have ignored it. Um, like, the first few chapters of this, they talked about just drawing basically, like, simple shit. Like, drawing lamps, drawing tables, drawing, you know, cups and saucers and all that crazy shit. And, like, seriously, pay attention to it. Because that, that stuff that, if you're still, if anybody's interested in comics, and how to draw actual comics and good comics... Because a lot of people that still do like 90s style, like half-assed backgrounds and shit, and it's bad storytelling. That book's fucking amazing, and they have a video version of it. I found it on YouTube a while back. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, it's it's it was just amazing, and Stan's hosting it, and it's got all and it, literally it's it, I mean it's that book is basically a script. There's very little variation between. Uh, what's in the book and and like what's actually said in the video? Um, I've had this book a very long time now. I don't even know if it's does that have print date. Uh, this version of uh, this print date's eighty four, I think. Uh, I got it a little bit after that. I think I got it like I might have had it in like nineteen eighty six or something. I might have been eight or nine years old. So it was a. Uh, I've lived that book a very, 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 very long time. But it's a, it's a book worth having if you if you can get a copy of it. Um, I said some of the stuff about layouts are a little different because the panels are in that are still laid out very, you know, basically like this grid right here. Like it's like you know here's eight panels across the page and that's all you should you know blah blah blah. They're all the same size and. Whereas now, much more comics are much more dynamic. But basic stuff about storytelling is so important. And there's so much good shit in there. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you're if you're interested in comics, or even, I mean, it still holds true even if you're not talking about comic books. It's talking about, you know, like if you're going to do a still life, about drawing, learning how to draw, you know, bottles and, and you know, lamps and, and all that fun stuff. Uh you know, and, and trying to figure out how to do it, you know, like, if you have any interest in any representational work, um, it's, it's a good book still. Like I said, there was stuff regarding the storytelling bits that when I was younger, I, I didn't pay attention to, and I really wish I had. I think it would have made a big difference um, when I was trying to break into comics and stuff. Um, I mean, I eventually started doing it, but I think I was so far behind the ball that, like, even though I really worked on my storytelling to almost a maddening degree, um, like, I was always, when it came time to finally do the Preston and Steve comic book, um, for WMR, I was like so absolutely obsessed with making sure that like if these characters were like in this spot in one panel, they were in that spot. You know, when you switched it around, the camera jumped over this way. You you saw those people in the same same place. 